Okay, so we're going to have a look here how we export out an image sequence from Final Cut Pro 10. So the way that we normally share files is by coming across to the share button across here on the right hand side or by going to file and share and then we have a series of options that we can share to. Okay, so we have master file, YouTube, Vimeo, etc. Um, and we also have this option to add destinations. So we don't see export image sequence here at the moment. But we can add other destinations such as current frame or image sequence um, from this destinations panel. So if we grab the image sequence option here, we can just drag it across to the left hand side here to the list. And that will now mean that when we export out our current project, we have the option to export an image sequence. So we can close this destinations panel up here and you can see you can also access that from the preferences panel um, here too, okay, where we change some other settings in Final Cut Pro 10. So now we have our short time lapse video that we're going to export out, and we can go to the share button or file share, and we can select export image sequence. We have some settings here, such as the file that we can export out, and we're going to keep it as a JPEG here. Um, and we can also scale the image to preserve the aspect ratio, okay? So that means that basically, if you have footage that's shot with a camera that uses a pixel aspect ratio other than one to one, um, which is a square pixel, then it will adjust that so that you get an image size that matches the actual frame size that you're viewing, okay? Let's click Next. It will ask us where we want to save our images. I'm going to create a new folder here and call it Image Export. And Basically, this name here is going to be the start name for our images. So I'm going to call this frame and then a hyphen. Click Save. And then if we have a look at what's happening here, the frames are sharing now. And if we have a look at the folder on our desktop, we can now see the images have exported into the folder frame. If we double click on that, we can see each of our individual images. I just reorder them by name here so you can see it's labeled them from zero up to 244 the number of frames i have here and now we can go ahead work with those frames in photoshop um, or bring them back into final cut pro okay i hope that's been useful if you have any questions about final cut pro 10 or other bits of software such as photoshop or adobe illustrator then please don't hesitate to, to get in touch and i look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial